Hello everyone, uh, many of you have been requesting for a video to understand the differences and similarities between different robot models. I will, uh, I will start with some general principles and definitions that you can use to understand types of robots in general, especially uh, when it comes to navigation. Then I will go over the characteristics of the five TechWave uh, robot models that we have here. In general, there are four types of navigation, starting with random navigation. These robots have the simplest system, where the robot uh, moves in zigzag patterns, trying to cover as much surface as possible. However, the robot is not really smart enough to know where it has been or where it is going, and is incapable of staying and cleaning the edges of the floor. It only bounces between the walls or any obstacle. They were basically the first type of robot uh, vacuum cleaners that came to the market. There are still some companies that, that make them. However, uh, we do not manufacture any model with random navigation anymore. Uh, the second type is gyroscope navigation. This type covers a large range from simple gyro to robots with very intelligent algorithms uh, that can be almost as smart as laser robots. We have three types of gyro robot, R10, R12, and R15 that very well cover uh, this range. I will get into more details later. Then there is the visual navigation. This technology was developed slightly before the laser robots were invented. In these models, the robot has a camera which utilizes to identify walls and obstacles. However, they have limitations in comparison with laser navigation, as the camera cannot see beyond the closest obstacle or a wall. They also face difficulties navigating in dark rooms. Nowadays, uh, these type of robots are becoming less common as the cost of manufacturing them are almost the same as robots with laser navigation. The latest technology and the most accurate is uh, the LiDAR or laser navigation. You can identify these robots from the bump on the top where the laser sensor is located. These robots can map the whole floor, including the obstacles, before they begin navigating. Unlike the gyro robots that need uh, to feel the boundaries to confirm them, they act as if they have eyes. In more advanced models, they can calculate and select the most efficient route to cover the floor and also going around the furniture. Since they can map the floor accurately, you can save the map and modify it manually. For example, uh, you can specify no-go zones or virtual walls to restrict the movement of the robot. Now, uh, let's get into some details on each model. R10 is our entry-level robot. As I mentioned, we no more manufacture random navigation devices. Arten comes with a simple gyro navigation. It is capable of moving in parallel lines and correcting itself after hitting the obstacles. Also, it is capable of moving around the furniture and cleaning the edges. However, depending on the complexity of the floor map, the surface area and the furniture arrangement, it may go over the same line more than once or miss some small areas. Therefore, it is more suitable for smaller apartments with the smaller layouts. It has about 2,500 Pascal of suction pressure, which is lower than the other models. Also bear in mind that this number that is used uh, widely in the industry indicates the suction pressure at fan inlet. Um, the flow efficiency and the design can also impact the effective suction pressure and cleaning performance of the vacuum cleaner. 
Unlike all other models that use Wi-Fi, Arten uh, connects uh, to the app using Bluetooth, which has both benefits and drawbacks. If you don't have uh, good Wi-Fi availability and network stability in your house, then Bluetooth might be a better option. Regarding the, the, the mopping water tank, in general, there are two types, osmosis or electric. In the osmosis models, the water drips down through a small hole from the water tank into the mop cloth, simply using gravity. However, in robots with electrical tank, you have the control to adjust the flow rate from the tank to the mop using the app or remote control. Our tank can go back to its station if it is cleaning the same room as the station. Otherwise, it can have difficulty finding its way back to the room where the station is located. On the plus side, since R10 has simpler electronics, it is almost bulletproof and very durable in most conditions. I will touch base on that a bit more later. The next two models that come with uh, gyroscope navigation are R12 and R15. Both use a slightly different but advanced algorithms, combining the data from all sensors, including the gyroscope, the infrared ground sensors, the infrared and mechanical sensors on the bumper, as well as the wheel rotation count to localize the robot in relation to the boundaries and the obstacles. SLAM here stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. These two models are very intelligent and, and cover over 95% of the floor surface without repeating the same lines unless they have to, due to the floor layout. As they go around the floor and fill the boundaries, they create a map of the floor in their memory. With R15, you can, you can see the path and the rope that, uh, that the robot has taken and the boundaries that has faced on the app but not with R12. And that is one of the differences in terms of navigation. The suction uh, power of R12 is a slightly less than R15. However, both are uh, very powerful and efficient in picking up any size dirt or debris. On a normal mode, uh, the charge lasts around two hours, uh, which is more than enough to clean most houses in one go. Both can navigate back to the charging base and can be uh, voice controlled through Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. R15 navigation could be slightly more accurate than R12 in terms of finding its way back to its charging station in a large house uh, with complex layout. So you can consider these differences when uh, choosing depending on your application. Okay, the final models are R20 and R30, which have LiDAR or laser systems. I put them together because they are exactly the same, except that R30 comes with a self-cleaning station and a slightly larger battery size. I will leave links to, to videos for specific models in the description in case you would like to learn more about them. They are the laser robots with the latest navigational algorithms. I already talked about the characteristics of the laser robots. They are the most accurate in navigation, more efficient in cleaning, and provide additional facilities on the app to manipulate the map. On the opposite side, they obviously have more electronic parts and can be more delicate. That means closer attention to care and maintenance need to be given to them. Remember, a robot is like a laptop uh, moving through dust and dirt and uh, the more electronic components they have, the more care needs to be given to them. I will leave a link uh, for the care and maintenance video as well in the description. I hope uh, with this presentation, I'll clarify some of your questions. As you can see, there is an option for everyone uh, based on the need, the budget, and the level of care you are prepared to give to the robot. 
Thank you. Have a good day or good night.